All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePredictions.com here at the Earthquake Channel. And uh, we're going to go over some earthquakes that have hit during the last uh, 24 hours. And then we're going to uh, go over the warnings and uh, other forecasts from around the world after that. Let's start with the quakes that have hit around the country. And we're going to start with a bunch of quakes that hit down in Chile. And you can see there is uh, quite a few of them actually. 4.5, 4.4, 4.9, 4.3, 4.6, 4.5. All of these quakes hit in our high risk area over here. You can see uh, four of them hit in the 95, one in the 90, one in the 85, and then one down in our low risk area over here. So most of them, as you can see, most of these three, four, five, six of them hit up in the high risk area. Four of them in the 95, 90, 85%, and this one in the lower risk area. But most of them hit in the high risk area over here in uh, northern Chile. All right, here's a quake here in uh, southeast of Manila, and that was a 5.5, and that hit in our about 80% risk area here. And this one in uh, northern Japan in the Iwate Prefecture, that one occurred in our 80% risk area here. And we got a bunch of quakes in Southern California, 2.6 here in Idlewild, 2.7 here near Anaheim, and a 2.7 in Cabazon, and a 3.6 over here by the Salton Sea. And we're still expecting uh, a strong earthquake in Southern California. That warning continues to the 26th. As you can see the warning here, all those quakes hit in the 95% risk area. And we're still looking for a strong earthquake uh, today, 25th into the 26th. So watch for that. We're gonna start with the forecast. We'll start with uh, California again. Still looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California. From Santa Maria to LA to the Salton Sea, we got that 3.6 here just north of the Salton Sea. And that most likely is a, a foreshock something much bigger, possibly a 6.0 to a 7.0 quake. As you can see, the risk expands across most of Southern California, but we're expecting it here in Southern California between uh, LA and the Salton Sea. And then on the 26th and 27th, things begin to quiet down a little bit, and the 27th, 28th, a whole different picture begins. So watch for that uh, Earthquake in Southern California tonight. Strong earthquake in uh, Southern California. Let's go up to Alaska. Let's close down some of these uh, other windows here so we have more memory in our slow computer here. All right, so in Alaska, the risk is pretty low for the next 10 hours or so. And then on the 26th into the 27th, uh, I don't know if I mentioned the time. The time is, uh, uh, December 25th at about 11.30 in the evening. Forgot to mention that. So you can see the 26th and the 27th, there's an 85% risk that's southwest of Anchorage and just north of uh, Kodiak Island. And then that risk expands over uh, Anchorage, but the risk decreases to 65% on the 27th and the 28th. So, Something maybe about 4.0 to 4.5 is uh, likely southwest of Anchorage <clears throat> during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours in Alaska. All right, in the uh, Chile, Santiago, Chile forecast, again, uh, the risk begins to diminish in the northeast to 85% instead of 95. And uh, La Serena, 70% risk there is some offshore here risk. And then on the 26th and the 27th, quite a bit of risk across the northern uh, Chile and offshore west of Santiago. And then again, uh, the risk diminishes again on the 27th and 28th. It's still very high risk across uh, Chile on the 27th and the 28th. All right, in Italy, we have um, this is the 24th and 25th, so very high risk across to Sicily in the next 10 to 12 hours, and that risk continues very high across Sicily 
on the 24th, 25th into the 26th. And the 26th into the 27th, the risk begins to move more into Algeria and uh, Tunisia. Still very high risk across the uh, western and southwestern portion of Sicily. And then the 27th, 28th, very high risk in southern portions uh, near Catania of Sicily and high risk across southern portions of Italy on the 27th and 28th. All right, our Japan forecast, we're looking for a 5.5 or larger earthquake across the central, uh, just north of Tokyo from uh, western portions of Japan over into Fukushima and Ibaraki and up to Sendai and Miyagi. So this region here of Japan looks like we get a 5.5 or stronger in that area during the next uh, 24, 36 hours. And then the 27th, 28th, risk uh, moves into uh, Chiba, Tokyo, Shizuoka, and Izu uh, near uh, Tokyo on uh, the 27th and 28th. All right, in the Philippines, quite high risk in the southeast, southeast and south portion of the uh, Philippines here. And then on the 26th and 27th, still that same area, very high risk uh, in the southeast of Philippines. 27th and 28th, almost the same region, but more in east central, east central uh, Philippines on the 27th into the 28th which is southeast of Manila. Manila is up here, so this is down in East Central Philippines on the 27th and the 28th. All right, in our Greece forecast, we're looking for possible 4.5 in uh, Southern Albania or Western Greece through the next 12 to 24 hours. And then that diminishes. And then the 27th, 28th, Maybe another 4.5, 5.0 in Western Greece during the 27th and the 28th of December. All right, Central America. Let's go to there, Central America, quite a few countries down there. All right, so now on the 25th into the 26th, it looks like we get a 4.0 to 5.0 is possible in the El Salvador western Nicaragua up into northern Nicaragua here and the 26th to the 27th 80 percent in central Honduras this is a very interesting uh, spot for uh, some quakes out there maybe in uh, west of the central Central America and then on the 27th 28th there's an 85 percent risk here in the eastern Guatemala and western Honduras north of El Salvador All right, in uh, the Peruvian forecast in the far south east part of the country, the good A5.0 is possible there, and the risk extends across to the south here, 75, 80% across the south of Peru, and, and then that same risk in southeast Peru on the uh, 27th and 28th. So quite significant area down in the southern portion of Peru during the next 48 hours. All right, Indonesia, let's look at Indonesia here. Indonesia's forecast, a, uh, this is the 25th, this is the 26th already over there. So let's go to this map here. A 5.0 is possible in the far northern part of Sumatra. And then down here in eastern Java on the 26th, 27th, and then the 27th, 28th, a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible still in the northern part of uh, Sumatra. And then here, uh, southeast of Jakarta, Indonesia, in central Java, we could get a 5.0 larger in that 90% risk area, 27th into the 28th. And the Taiwan forecast looks like uh, moderate risk here in the south in the next 12 hours or so. 26th to the 27th, we could get a 5.0 in southern Taiwan uh, during the next uh, 24 hours. Then that risk moves up to 
Okinawa, Japan, right up here in Okinawa, and this is the Ryukyu Islands. So it looks like the 26th into the 27th, uh, 5.0 is likely in southern Taiwan. Caribbean forecast. Now you can see this, when this risk was very high here in the 24th and the 25th, we got a couple strong earthquakes in southern Puerto Rico. That risk is sort of diminished here. Still a possibility of a 4.0 in southern uh, Dominican Republic here. And then the 26th, 27th, all the risk moves into uh, the northeast part of the Caribbean, uh, the northern Lesser, Lesser Antilles, and uh, east and northeast of Puerto Rico. And same thing for, uh, you see that, same thing for the uh, 27th and 28th. All right, the Washington forecast. Move this back up here. There we go. Slight risk in the south tonight, and then far northwestern uh, Washington, state of Washington. We get a 4.0 there on the 26th, 27th. Now here's an interesting forecast on the 27th, 28th. A 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake is likely in southwestern. Oregon, or maybe even off the coast there. So look for a 4.5 to 5.0 in southwest Oregon on the 27th into the 28th. And last but not least, uh, the uh, Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Cyprus forecast on the 24th. We're going to look at the 26th, kind of a slight risk over the northwest uh, part of uh, Turkey. And this forecast here is interesting. Uh, looking for a, um, so a, a high risk in uh, the country of Georgia. And of course, we saw that risk in uh, Western uh, Greece. And that's where this, these numbers come from in the far Western portion of Turkey, still a 70, 75% risk there. But the highest risk is up in the Western portions of the country of Georgia. All right, so we're back to this page. Thanks so much again uh, for following us here at quickprediction.com. Look for that um, strong earthquake in uh, Southern California during the next uh, 12, 24 hours. We've got some four shocks down near the Salton Sea, 3.6, and some other earthquakes there, and looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California in the next 12, 24 hours. And we will talk to you tomorrow night. Thanks for staying. Uh, uh, listening tonight, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.